guys, welcome back. So today I woke up and realized that we are having this surprising guaranteed Void Legendary Summoning event, alright? What a surprise. I thought Playroom was never going to do a guaranteed Void Champion and then 90 shards for a guaranteed Raiho Bone Spear. Well, <clears throat> in this video I want to talk about this champion a little bit, alright? Then probably I'm gonna pop all my shards for her. Um, I already have two of this champion. I think I got this champion like very early on, like the second month after this champion is released. I pulled this champion during the 2x void event, and uh, I would say like this is the coolest looking female character in the game, and the review is really good. Um, but actually, like I think this champion in terms of a void legendary, I think the in terms of void legendary quality, I think. This champ is like right in the middle. She is not like top top tier and she is not like below average. Alright. Basically, like uh, her signature move is 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 actually her passive, I would say. She cannot be debuffed for the first time. Instantly transfer them back to the attacker, but it has a three turns cooldown. Also, this A3 is a cleanse skill, it heals a lot and remove all debuffs and plays uh block debuffs, and A2 is all sort of debuffs um a lot of people might might uh, struggle a little bit like uh, people are saying that this champ is not gonna be worth the 90 shards well um <clears throat> to me like for a player like myself um like this champion like i don't use her pretty much anywhere i would say that well i actually use her in my doom tower um griffin team um uh, celestial griffin that uh, the uh, the Doom Child boss that drops the uh, Guardian set. This champion is super super good. All right, against the uh, Griffin, and uh, also she can be useful in arena. But at least for, like, I think, um, she used to be um, quite popular back in the day. Once uh, when she was first released, then afterwards there were just so many good champions that got released, and I just don't think. If you're a super super late game player like myself, I don't think you need her in arena team. And uh, if you're a super early game or early mid game, I will say like you also don't really need her because her usage is pretty much for um, Hegemon only. Well, maybe Kaima, but pretty much for Hegemon or Kaima only. And if you're like uh, lower goal five or goal four, you are not going to see that many Kaima team or Hegemon team then like you don't really need this champion right you don't even need a cleanser um but i mean if you got some budget and you don't have the champion yet i think it's not really a bad idea to use uh 90 shards on this champion right this is a void legendary and it takes 90 shards like this champion is not god tier but not trash all right it takes 90 shards and it will not reset your mercy counter. That's the most important part. It does not reset your mercy. All right, so I think ninety shots is really uh, reasonable. But my uh, but like I feel like if too many people pulled uh, during this guarantee void champ event, I think player is gonna increase the shard count next time they do this. All right, they might increase this to like hundred twenty or something if too many people pulled uh, on this event. It will just tell player that uh, this event is popular, people like it, right? So anyways, let me just showcase uh, Raiho a little bit on my account. I, like I said, I don't use this champion anywhere currently. So this is not like world's strongest Raiho or anything like that. So I will say this is a pretty average build. Look at this 5 star I'm using on her. Uh, HP% percent chest plate, 5 star one, and a 5 star banner here. Um, well, uh, the reason you need this champion fast is like I said, you are gonna go against the Hegemon, right? So that's that's the only reason I gear her fast for the accuracy. Like I think this is the accuracy requirement for the hard mode Doom Tower, and for the mastery, I went with the accuracy one. I gear her tanky and high speed, decent accuracy, and that's basically it. Let me quickly show you guys a battle in arena. Well, like. <laughs> Arena right now is completely busted, alright? <laughs> Look at this uh, platinum point requirement. Like, there's 5 days, 9 hours left 
to arena reset and <laughs> I'm just tired of this like I'm actually tired of this alright I'm not gonna push platinum uh, so I only see one hedge team here let me show you guys a team setup that could potentially work so okay 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 what shall we do here uh, what we can do is uh, so we put a speed lead I think you still need a speed lead here and let's put all right this is a just example right and let me put my uh, Leorus here so actually the only champion here that needs cleanse is Leorus so anyways this is just a showcase anyways right so let's get get into the fight the hegemon is gonna use a2 here look at this my Leorus has a block uh, skill cooldown right put their cooldown I'm gonna cleanse remove their buffs all right that's fine am I gonna lose this one though that's awkward Okay, can I get a turn? Can I get a turn, please? Alright, let's uh, target Krisk. Well, that's a high resistance Krisk. Okay, so should be full auto by now. Uh, Alright, infinite reset. Look at that. Reset. Reset. Let's do this. Uh, everybody still has block debuff. Yeah, Mithrala is kind of annoying. Like, right now it's a little bit hard for me to showcase uh, my uh, arena champions because pushing to platinum is way too hard and gold 5 is like pretty much um, super super easy right now. So um, if you guys are wondering, I'm gonna quickly showcase my uh, Celestial Griffin team. We don't have that boss uh, this rotation, but let me just quickly show you guys what my team looks like. All right, so my team's uh, my team looks like this. I have a Trona lead. Well, uh, all these champions are not necessary. I, I think my team uh, looks like this. Yeah, and uh, and an ally attack on the last spot. So maybe it's a uh, Krila. Hold on, where's Krila? So. It, it kind of looks like this. Uh, it looks like it's super pay to win against the Celestial Griffin, but but it's really really like all these champions has replacement. Like Tronda, you just need a champion that can clear the wave fast, basically a AOE nuking champion, and two rolls you can make a, like two single target uh, damage dealer and an ally attack champion. That's basically it. And, and just a Raiho. Raiho is gonna carry your entire team. Seriously, she's gonna heal like crazy and put the all these type of debuff to the boss, right? Decrease uh, attack, decrease defense, stuff like that. So basically, super amazing champion uh, on Doom Tower. Let me see if I can find another Hedge team. All right, all right. Seems like Hedge team is nowhere to be found. I'm not gonna waste more of my gems because Gold Five is basically a joke. All right. So without further ado, let me just pop my 90 shots for it because why not? Let's see who we got. Let's see, can I get another champion besides Raiho? Probably not, alright, probably not. This is maybe a bad idea here. Alright, rare attacks. I complete the, uh, the clan quest, get 10 rare champions. That's just, just great. Okay, so let's keep it going. 80 shots left. Let me do a couple fast rolls. One epic, faceless. I don't need any epics on my account. I need the lighting okay so nothing here 60 left the good thing is it does not count towards pity so I can live with that <laughs> nothing again okay 50 shards left no lighting rare tags come on 40 more can I see a lighting here Rare attacks again? Come on. 30. This is the countdown. Rune Keeper Dastark. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just give me one lighting. 20 more. 
No. Okay, last ten. Last ten pull. Come on. Nothing. Only Raiho. Well, well, well. Okay then. Okay then. At least it does not reset your mercy, alright? So, yeah. Um. I mean, if, like, if you're uh, wondering if you should go for this champion or not, it's like completely up to you. This is not a top tier champion. That's the first thing you need to know, alright? And if you don't care about Arena, like, you probably don't need her anyways. But she is the coolest looking female character in the game, I would say that. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.